I grew up in Mount Pearl and I was pretty young, but I was old enough to understand what happened in 1992 when the fishery closed, but I never felt like I was directly impacted. I didn't know anybody who was involved with the fishery, but I still understood how 10% of the population in one day lost their jobs. I knew what that meant for those people directly, but I knew what it meant for the province and, and the bigger picture. The town of Bonavista was hit really hard, like a lot of towns were when the fishery closed down. But now, this is one of the towns that people think of when they think of the the rural revitalization in Newfoundland, you know, Fogo Island, and Twilling Gate, Brigus, um, Bonavista. The, uh, the day that the Matthew, the replica of the Matthew came through in, in 1997, I think that was the first time I ever went to Bonavista. You know, it was a miserable day, but even still I thought, wow, this place is really cool. Like, it's, I couldn't put my finger on what was that was so cool about it, but it was just a really cool town. But this was like pretty much the, the start, really, of um, the population decline. Bonavista struggled just like so many other towns around Newfoundland. But what's happening in Bonavista right now is a model for what rural Newfoundland can be. Not every place around Newfoundland that was involved with the fishery is going to be Bonavista. Not every place can replicate what Bonavista has done because every town is different. But what they're doing is brilliant. You got a beautiful town, great places to go to eat, great places to go to visit, history, museums, things that you want to see, the Garrick Theater, uh, so much to do around the town. But then you take a few steps outside the town and you got the Spillers Cove Sea Stack. You got the dungeon just outside of Bonavista's Elliston. And you want to go over to Elliston and see the puffins and it'll blow your mind. Down the road a little bit further, you got the history of Port Union, one of the most important towns in Newfoundland. Port Rexton, just a little ways down the way. The town of Trinity, the Trinity pageant, the old Trinity train loop, the ghost fair that still sort of exists is disappearing rapidly. But the whole Bonavista Peninsula is thriving right now and the heartbeat is coming from the top, the town of Bonavista itself. I think Chevrolet called it the most road trippable town in Canada or something like that. And it absolutely is one of the best road trips that you can take. The fact that they came up with a plan to, to lead them to where they are. Anybody around the province can do that. Any town can do this. I believe that. There is hope in Newfoundland. There's other reasons for optimism. To get this feeling, if you don't already have it, go explore Bonavista for a couple of days. Feel the positivity, feel the hope, feel the energy that exists in Bonavista with the young people that live there, with the people that are moving there, starting businesses, just making Bonavista a thriving town again after people thought that they were going to be closing the doors on that town completely 10, 15 years ago, right? It's the center of a thriving peninsula, one of the most amazing places that you can see the Bonavista Peninsula, but it's a model for the rest of the province.